I'm Todd Caldwell, you are in Elmwood, Illinois. The very first year, I think I bought either 12 or 15 head. We did most everything out of my father-in-law's place, which is a couple miles from here to get started. We eventually started moving things here to get this set up the way we wanted it. And I definitely wanted the facility here when the kids started showing and that way it was a lot more convenient, you know, to get from the barn to the house instead of having to drive two mile over to my father-in-law. So we've kind of got this place the way we want it. You know, it's like anything else. There's every day I see something like, oh, I'd like to change that or I'd like to build this. And, you know, change and build costs money and you do what you can afford to do. I'll never forget, I started out, my father-in-law's got a great big shade tree with a little corral and a chute attached to it. And I would wash and blow them and clip them all in the same chute. So I, I can't believe I didn't get electrocuted. As you walk in the front of the barn, uh, there's basically to the right will be, we call it the feed room, but it's basically feed storage and then where we store all the equipment that we usually take to shows. To the left of that, we've got three under roof pens that we usually put heifers or you know, Kansas City, Denver steers in until it's time for them to go in a cooler. But then you come into the next section, we've got three more loose pins on the left. Then we've got the clipping room will be on the right. The room we're in right now is what we call the washroom. We use it year round, uh, very, very handy in the winter. You know, we get some pretty tough winters around here and it's heated and uh, so we use it, we wash and blow here. And then the next room will be the cooler room. We've got four big pins in it and then a a wash rack and blowout deal at the end of it. Back behind what used to be the pig barn is a cattle feedlot. Then there's a small AI pasture down below it. And then we've got the big AI pasture that goes out to the west. It's all set up to where one person can get an animal up here and wash and blow it, treat it, whatever you need to. So that was something that when we built this was very important. I feel like we're in the cattle business, but more than anything, I feel like we're in the customer service business because anybody can go buy a steer and sell it to a, to a kid. But we try to go above and beyond and help. I mean, I get, you know, calls daily. Hey, my steer's not eaten. What should I do? Uh, you know, here's a video on my calf. What do you think needs done? And, you know, so we try to be big on customer service. I, I can't think of a better way to help kids grow up and, and make them better humans by being involved in all this.